During my time in taking a look at a lot of these players that we've done for player profiles, I've been asking people, who would you like me to see? Who would you like to take a look at and how they grow in the next 10 years? Jeremy Pino is one that was requested. So let's get into it. At 19 years of age, you could see Jeremy Pino is well-known name for soccer fans across Europe. Having made his Spain debut against Italy in October 21, he has gone on to make four appearances for his country. Rhoda, I'm assuming that's some sort of loan, but moved to Villarreal in the 2017 season and has stayed there ever since. 55 appearances for the first squad, nine goals. He is only 19 years of age. However, 32 to 97 million pounds already. 23 and a half K per week. I mean, I would love to be a 19 year old with 23 and a half K per week. It's crazy. Primarily on the wings, striker and AMC role as well. His dribbling of 16, technique of 16, flair of 16, all fantastic numbers. But at 19 years old, he definitely has room to grow. So I don't understand how it happened because there's no free, there's no monetary value. Maybe it was because he was so young at Las Palmas that he moved to Villarreal on his first contract. I don't know. I don't know that much about him, to be honest, except that he is a phenomenal player. You can see he already has, like we said, four caps, one goal uh, for the Spanish national team at age 19. So he has been doing really well, and I can only imagine what the next 10 years is going to be. Milestones, a lot of yellows, scored his first senior day club debut for VRL C against that team, made his senior club debut for VRL C. UEFA Europa League winners in 2021, first international cap against Italy of all teams in 2021, and first international goal against Iceland at age 19 in 2022. But with that said, let's take a look how he is in 2033. End of the season 2033, and as you can see, he has moved from Villarreal all the way to Manchester United for the last nine years. 291 appearances, 81 goals. Uh, he does... Probably, I'm going to assume, not used primarily as a striker, as he's now on the midfield line, as well as the AMR and AML. So I'm assuming that's primarily where he's used. However, 325K per week, 130 to 389 million, 30 years old. He looks like he's had a fantastic career. Technicals, we've seen the glitch. Technicals don't seem to grow, if for some odd reason. Mentally and physically, though, he has done very well. Greens. All throughout his mentals, anticipation, composure, concentration, decisions, flair, and vision, all fantastic. Agility and balance, also fantastic. Let's take a look. Actually, I want to see his tactics. Uh, so, yep, yeah, AMR, 24 for club, 4 goals, 1 assist, 735. AML, 15 for club, 3 goals, 716. And AMC, 2 for club, 1 assist, 70 average rating. Internationally, 7 and 1, 2 goals apiece, 1 assist for the AMR, 773 and 770. How many, uh, okay, there we go, 109 caps at 30 years old, 29 goals. Not the greatest goal return, however, he's not being used as a striker anymore, so I'm not too surprised that he's not getting all those goals. So as you can see, he moved to Manchester United for $69 million and has not dipped into the sixes at all. 703 is his lowest one in Manchester United, 29-30. Still got 13 goals, one assist. He doesn't, except for this season, 28-29, he has, looks like he's primarily been a starter every single year, and it really hasn't dipped down too much. And as you can see, milestone-wise, UEFA Nations League winner, a lot of seasonal best. He was bought by Man United in 60, for $69 million in 2024. Uh, Spain seasonal best, English players, young player of the year, seasonal best, seasonal best, Spain seasonal best, World Cup winners with Spain in 2026. Europa League winners with Manchester United in 2027, Nations League winners in 27, Super Cup winners in 27, uh, Premier League champions in 2031, Europa Conference League winners in 2031, Nations League winners in the same year, and then a lot again, you got FIFA Pro Player of the Year runner up, uh, Goal 50 runner up, FIFA Balloon de or winner. Dude, what is wrong with this guy? But man, but as you can see, Jeremy Pino in the 2030-2031 season, winning the Balloon d'Or, absolutely crazy. At 28 years old, Kai Havertz is still up there. That's a, That looks like a fantastic one to do as well. 
But overall, his career has been lights out phenomenal. So as you can see, Pino has a great record of 13 competition wins to his name. European South American Super Cup, UEFA Europa Conference League with Manchester United and Villarreal 23. Super Cup with Manchester United. The Europa League with Villarreal and, and Manchester United again. European Championship with Spain. FIFA World Cup with Spain, Nations League with Spain, 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 and Premier League with Manchester United in 2031. He's been recognized for his talent and achievements with several awards. The Europe Conference League Player of the Season, Conference Player, Young Player of the Season, Player of the Season for the Europa League, English Players Young Player of the Year, World Cup Best Player, Third Place, UEFA Europa League Player of the Season. Wow, he's got a lot of players of the season. Best in Europe, Balloon d'Or, Goal 50 Runner-Up, Best men's player runner-up, FIFA FIFA Pro Player of the Year runner-up. He has done really well. Let me see. Last time, injuries, not too many. He's got two majors, damaged cruciate ligaments, and dislocated shoulder in 27 and 28, six months. Ouch. And then out for seven weeks in 2027. So that 2028, 20, that's when he had only the 10 appearances. So that really hurts. So a couple of moderates here, which are a little concerning. Sprained ankle ligaments, pulled knee ligaments fractured ribs and back strain, but overall, not too bad with the injuries. He has definitely played more than 30 matches a season for the most part, uh, so he is doing very well, looking fantastic. Another one I highly suggest you pick up early on in, if you can. He is slightly pricey depending on what team you are uh, to start off the save, but at 23 and a half, I believe it was, K per week, not too bad wage-wise. Uh, he will obviously grow, and now he's at 325k. So if you want to keep him really long-term, you're going to have to come into some money. But if he's helping you in championship after championship, league table after league table, conference leagues and everything, then you're going to be coming into some money at some point. So anyway, I definitely suggest keeping an eye on him. He looks like he's going to grow phenomenally well. Uh, but for Jeremy Pino, I am Safin FM for the Football Manager blog channel saying thank you so much for watching. Take care and enjoy.